Okay, I'm, I'm not sure quite yet if, if this trick will work, but uh, from my test, uh, this trick uh, made the render time one minute instead of two minutes and 45 seconds. So if it works on huge renders as well, you can save quite a lot of time doing uh, using this trick, and it's actually quite easy. So okay, let's say I um, I'm satisfied with this render, and what I'm going to do then? I've done test renders and stuff. I'm an, and I'm big ready for the big render. I'll just turn these off, and then I'll turn. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one on, and I can just call it something. Render one, for example. And uh, just take all of these to be on. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Diffuse color, diffuse shading. Maybe I need this one as well. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I guess I could take this one on to have a bit higher quality. I think the bad thing about this, I don't think it exports um, sRGB, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have used something else here. Um, If I can remember what it's called, but you, you got another exporter as well, I guess. Uh, but it's new in 11 or 11.5, can't remember. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, could be. Got diffuse here, speckler. So you might want to use this one instead. Anyway, for this test, I'm just going to use um, this one. Alright, so I'm pretty much ready to render, I think. Yeah, okay, so uh, GI is on, Monte Carlo, and the settings. This is These are really low settings, but uh, it's a test, so that's why it's that low. So as you can see, no reflections, just the GI. And it looks very good apart from the noise. So if this was uh, if this was a huge render or a main render, then I would have to reduce that noise, but just to show you the basic here, I'm just gonna make this render fast. Okay, so this one was actually rendered in one minute. The past one rendered in, previous one rendered in what? 30 seconds. I think that's because of the minimum samples. I think I had that one to one in my test. So anyway, um, it doesn't matter. So that's your first render and it's now saved. And what you'll do now is you'll make the second render and um, turn on these guys again. But now we're going to turn off radiosity. That's basically it. Now you can tweak the, the settings for for samples and stuff if you need to do that, but this is the basics. So what we're doing here is we're rendering now without GI and with reflections. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna combine these two in post.
Okay. So we're done. Right, so this is a render one and this is render two and um, it's quite simple actually. Well, I don't need these guys here. I can just trash them. And I don't need that one. Same here. I don't need these. Um, all right, so this is without reflection, right? So what we're, what we're gonna do is we we got the reflection here, but as you can see, there's really, oops, uh, there's really not much going on. While in this one, we've got some stuff going on here. So what we're gonna do in this first one is, of course, without the reflection, turn it off, and for this one, uh, just. Uh, use this tool and hold down shift drag it over here now you can see that this one is pasted on top and we got soft reflections on that render and it looks exactly the same as if you did a GI render with reflections and it's half the render time so even less so um, That's it really, that's how you make it work. Let's see what the actual render time is with with reflections and with uh, GI enabled. So let's see what that render time is, just to see that we got this right. Um, yeah. So let's just render that. Right, so four minutes thirty four seconds. And uh, the other ones were combined two minutes. And if we combine these, you can see that the result is the same. So it might work, it might work.